Hey, it's Phil from PC Decision again. Look, we've got a, an issue with a, a Land Rover Freelander here. Uh, it's been on and off, very intermittent for a couple of weeks. Um, good customer of ours. They've had it since new. It's got 287,000 Ks. It's always been a very good car to them. So the issue being is it'll go into a limp home mode. It has once. The other times it goes, it's a hesitation and a big stutter. Um, it's a noise. She's associated, there's a rear differential noise in this. So she's associating that with it. So I've ruled that out. So it's all about talking to the customer, seeing what the actual fault is with the car. So I've determined from her talking to her about how it's doing it is a if it was petrol this is diesel so if it was petrol it would be like an engine misfire so it's a hesitation uh, no power loses power makes lots of noise which i think it's the engine banging cutting around now i've we don't see a lot of these freelanders they do but they're really gone but um so we've hooked it up on the figure we haven't had it fault whatsoever we've we've driven it must have driven it 60 k's or so Never in different circumstances, up freeways, up hills, along flats. Never had a problem with it. I am suspecting that it's the suction control valve on the back of the diesel injection pump because I've had others, and if you've seen the, the shows that are put on, the um, suction control valves, they get worn inside themselves and they, they can cause these hesitations. Mitsubishi is a classic example for so some distance as well, but these you can, you can buy you have to buy a complete pump, you can't just buy a suction control valve. But other than that, I have actually found a suction control valve that I can buy for this car. Uh, Citroen and that are the same motor, but pump. So what we've done is we, we've hooked up uh, our picoscope and we've got the scanner on it, we've got a pulp meter. So the only ever code that we ever had out of this car, was a couple of weeks ago, was um, alternator overcharge. Right, we had that on once hasn't faltered, it's charging correctly, fine, under load as well. Like, you know, you have your headlights on, everything gone. So we've got everything basically hooked into it. We've got the air mass meter on here. We've got the fuel rail pressure sensor on here. We've got the pressure relief valve on here. We've got the lander, so the O2 sensor. We've got um, the suction control valve on the back behind it. It's to give it a little rev, Emma. See, we've got everything on here, so we're graphing everything. I, I can't see anything that's a fault, right? So, what do we do? So, I've suggested to the customer because it's a bit of a shot in the dark. If they continue to drive it and the problem gets worse, well, then we can find an issue with it. But at this stance. I can't see anything wrong with it. I've certainly spent some bloody time looking. I've, we've driven it plenty. It's not had a hit problem. It's got no codes, no nothing. I've said to them to replace the suction control valve because I can get one without replacing the whole pump. I think that's the way to go for this. This, this is a hesitation and, and she's not uh, knowing the, the RPM that it is, but I'm taking from what she's saying to me if she's coasting up a hill, just slight acceleration up a hill, I reckon she's doing 1800 to 2000. Those suction control valves definitely cause a problem in, in some vehicles between 1800 and 2600. And before that and after that, they're generally okay. So I'm just going for a servicing part. It's for 287,000 Ks. If they take a chance, they've got an option. You know, I've priced it up for them to do that but it's not a guaranteed fix, but I think I'm, I think I'm right in doing that. I, I don't know if anybody else has had this problem or what. I have not found anything else uh, on the net, I think so. Just sort of show you, it's, it's a pretty complex tool. Let's give it another round, Emma. Go. Go again. Okay, so th this is all working fine, but it's, it's complex, yeah, these intermittent issues, they're not always easy. I'm 
taking a stab at the dark and trying. I'm not convincing the customer, but I think that's the step to go if we want to try something. I think that's what I'd try.